What up, my pretties? It's time to do 2018 Classics Football. Full Case Mojo, number seven. Ride the wave. All right. The man steel curtain knows a good deal when he sees it. Down for two spots. Which leaves us with 11 left to fill absolute. Need to remind you that it is a full case, people. A yeah, full case of Epsom. It's a full case. Ten boxes. Come on. Let's, let's do it. All right. There is the Classics Football all up on your screen. Let me get this out of the way. This is trash. This is trash on too. Huh? This thing's already full. Nah. You can pack it down some still. Yeah, see anything. All right. Let's do what we do. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Ryan. All right, let's grab this case. Ugh. Full 10 box case of classics. Here we go. I know, right? How do they stop doing that? I have no idea. However, the funny story, uh, I think it was last year's national. We broke, it was like some flea, I think it was flea or something. It was this product that had like bait, like it had uh, gum in it. And it was like 50 something, 60 year old, old as hell. And they're like, I bet you won't eat it. And I was like, shit, I bet you I will. <laughs> I chewed on it, dude. I chewed it maybe twice. Oh. It and it tastes like it tastes like chewing on that cardboard but what was worse about it was like i chewed it maybe twice and it just dissolved in my mouth it was top five most disgusting things i've uh, ever tasted and i would not do that ever again, ever again that was so nasty all right let me pull the checklist up for this real quick because i am gonna need it i know i know some of the players by now but you know, the winner of fantasy football gets a pack of uh, gum from the 1950s. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be more of a punishment than anything. <laughs> graded, a graded. Delete. A graded. They sell stuff like that, really? A graded uh, gum? Be, I don't think they would. That would, would be crazy. Be I got this uh, pristine 10 of 10 gum. <laughs> a black, a BGS black fucking. Come on, y'all. Let's join Steel Curtain on that absolute filler. 55 bucks gets you a random team and a full case break of absolute number one. Two silver packs and a shot at the Giants as well. Giants random to the filler. So everyone is going to get a team. Two silver packs and a shot at the Giants for 55 bucks and a full case break of absolute. That's a good deal. That's a real good deal. Drop digits and less fillets. My bad. Oh my god, this thing weighs like. Oh, oh yeah, your little care package. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Good luck, y'all. What's up, Ray? Yeah, tell me about it, dude. My veteran base does not ship, so I'm going to set that aside. Eli Manning to 99 Giants. Matt Ryan to 99 Falcons. Jordan Howard to 99 Bears. I want him to pick it up because he's on my fantasy football team. You got to pick that up, son. Michael Gallup, 299. They'll pick it up. They need to pass it. I believe he's a cowboy. Who to, uh, to yeah, right, because he can catch great, the ball, man. On the ground. Kirk Cousins. That goes to the Redskins to 175. 
What's up, Wolfie? How did Beast Mode end up doing last night? He had that one first touchdown. Yeah, after that, I didn't really, well, I didn't watch the game, so I don't know. Redskins dual relic, Joe Theismann, John Riggins. What up, Alan? How you doing? Absolute fillers at 11 spots left, 55 bucks. Gets you a random team. Two silver packs and a shot at the Giants. Random to the filler are the Giants. Drop a digit if you want to join. It's a good deal. It's a hell of a That's deal. A good deal. I might go home and try to get in. There you go. <laughs> right. What up, Marcello? How are you? Alvin Kamara, two ninety nine Saints. I wonder how long of a drive that's going to be for you. Well, it's like not that 20, much traffic minutes. now, right? Maybe twenty. Dual relic for Matt Stafford, Golden Tate Lions. Go like oh damn! Don't do that. Especially around here, bro. There's a lot no, of coppers. Around, around here. It's a lot of coppers around here. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you're like in your neighbor, near neck of the woods. You should be fine, but nah, around here, dude, all, the coppers are cray cray. What's that place? Diced? You been there? Diced? I think it's like. This is like a food joint? I don't know. I, don't know. I think there's like one down the street here, I think. Cortland Sutton, the autograph to 189. Glad to hear that, Marcello. Tell me about it, Ray. Dude, that was it was an epic comeback. Epic comeback. 17 points in the fourth quarter. It's pretty pretty insane. Dummy car. A uh, cowboy sticker. Got a random this. Got two teams on it. I'm so glad football season's back. It's my favorite time of the year, baby. Who does you play this week? We play play some random garbage ass team. Like Savannah State. Well, we played Savannah State last Savannah week, but it's like one of those kind of teams, you know? Oh, dude, Ray, it was hell for me, bro. It was it was the first Dolphins game, and I got and I had to it it, it was it's the longest game in NFL history. And we won, so. Elvin Bethea, 299. That'll go to the Titans because it's an oiler. Yeah, somebody brought food or something? It smells good in oh, here. Oh, we play Toledo. Oh, we play Toledo. Toledo? That is that going to be a tough game, actually. That's Saturday. But we should, we should beat them by 50 points Saturday or so. Lattimore Saints sticker. You was ranked 21st, though. Oh, we went up? We're 1-1, one one, though. Yeah, cause that first game, bro, that that was that was tough to watch. The Inglewood Rams. They should call them the Inglewood Rams. That would be awesome. Yeah, exact. As long as we won, Ray, I'm happy. But we got we got a tough game next week. We got to go to the Meadowlands and play the Jets. Jets defense looked really good yesterday. Well, this is true. They played the Lions, but I mean, who knows? Maybe the Jets D is for real. We'll find out next week. Not to say that the Dolphins are real, but, you know. Watch the Jets beat the Patriots twice this year. Right? They have, like, two losses of the season. To my eyes. To us. Okay. I want to see this year the Jets and the Dolphins on top of the division. That, that, would, be, the that would be That's awesome. That's never going to happen. You never know, man. The Patriots are just exactly. They're just one injury away from that dude gets hurt. It's over. Who's the backup? Exactly. Who's the backup? I have no. Is anyone even on the? Do any? Does anybody know who the backup quarterback is for the Patriots? Because they got rid of all of them. They had Brissett. He's a Colt now. They had Castle. He's a Titan. Or I think he's a Titan. Yeah. Matt Castle. I think he is a Titan. I don't know. Who else they have? Garoppolo. Garoppolo he's a Niner. Yo, did you hear about that? The Jets knew all the calls Stafford was making. They they had uh, the hand signs and stuff. You'd think with uh, Matt Patricia being a coach for the Patriots, he would have covered that. You well, know what I'm saying? I know, right? He's a smart guy, too. Jason, they, they don't call me the Cardboard Moses for nothing, brother. 
Now, Jason, all I need for you to do is join the brakes on our website, ripcitycars.com, and double the fun, baby. They got Hoyer as their backup quarterback? <laughs> yeah, say no more. If Brady goes out for the season, it's over for the Patriots. Or maybe they put Belichick at quarterback. Who knows? Steve Ishmael, 10 out of 10. That's nice. I need to... Uh, it's not like Fritanga. Fritanga! Uh, dude, I'm one of these days... What is it? I'll bring you some good stuff. I, no, I'm I might go tonight. <laughs> go to uh, to Yambo's. Yeah, to head my girl. Barry Sanders is 65. The 15 year old. Oh God. Oh God. No, that's that. You know what? That's that's a standard thing in the Hispanic community. Take my daughter. Have this. Have this. Here. Carne and my daughter. Here is this. I offer you my daughter. <laughs> to 99. Bo Scarborough, rookie. Well, well, right, well, true. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that one, Ray. I'll give you that one. But it's not like they won a championship that season, though. Oh, Alan. The freak of nature in the house. That's who was in the house. <laughs> yeah, it'll get posted later tonight, Jason. Uh, I got my, my, my partner, the Cardboard Jesus, working on that as we speak. High Tech Baseball also comes out tomorrow. That should be some hotness. Jared Goff, Rams patch. They should wear these uniforms more often. They're pretty slick. The freak of nature in the house, y'all. You get horrible security, by the way, downstairs. Yeah, we some lady or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. She don't care. I already pressed the button before she messed with me. <laughs> Rod Woodson to 299. That goes to the Steelers, actually. He's in his Raider uniform, but it goes to the Steelers. Interesting. Why don't you hire her for the cleaning? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you just drop off coffee or something. Pasaditos. Oh, that'd be great. I wish they put like a little like a little deli or something downstairs. That'd be awesome. Although you guys have roasters and toasters across the street. Dude, we ha I've never been there. But we have so much. There's a Publix down the block there. We have so much stuff around here. Uh, Brandon Ficus in a 25 rookie. I know, right? Finally, he arrived. It took him like a year or two, but he but he's here. But he's here. That's that's what matters. I might sleep in the parking garage. Falcon sticker. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we have a little strip club. We got bare necessities right I down the street. Shorties, barbecue. Yeah, we got clothes. all you need, bro. We got all you need. You know, you get you like an inflatable bed or something. You just sleep right here. Boom. That base, like beyond galore. You know, make a pillow out of that veteran base. It'd be, be good. Yeah, no girls board. allowed. No girls allowed. <laughs> He's like, no girls allowed. That's what the garage is for. <laughs> Get one of those uh, 443 uh, Tinder swipes to come through. some dangerous girls around here. Dude. Oh, out my, my God. Train. Oh, my God. You're lucky if I think it's my car okay. I get back my car the tires are slashed. No, nah, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rough... Uh, Neck of the woods over here. Oh, this ain't nothing. No, I know. I was just This ain't nothing. But, the, yeah, it's because of the freaking, all the homeless that, that live there because of the Metro Rail or whatever. Yeah, if you're ever homeless, Florida is the ideal spot. Dude, there's so many homeless in Florida, it's ridiculous. Jair Alexander, 299 rookie. Like in Cleveland, I don't think I saw, like, a single panhandler. Because no, it's too cold in the winter. I know, right? For the Jets, Robbie Anderson, four out of five, the autograph. That is real nice. He had a nice catch last night. He had a real nice catch. That touchdown? Yeah. Jets might be a problem this year. I don't know. We'll see. Jets always play the Dolphins tough. Those fans are obnoxious, too. Oh, I, I hate them. I'm ready for Detroit fans. Just I, I, I really was expecting them, especially like when they all like came together behind the Jets bench. Yeah. I thought that it was about to be the Palace and the Malice or something again, like part two. That would be awesome. I'm so glad I got to see that live. Joe Mixon, 299 for the Bengals. That's probably like one of my favorite Please memories. The hell yeah, I seen that thing live. Bro, the Pistons were destroying the, the Pacers. Yeah. 
And then, I don't know, Ron Artest got into it with Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace shoved the crap out of him. Yeah, not a fan, I think, hit the... And Ron Artest right is just chilling. Yep, that. Ron Artest is just chilling on the freaking scores table. And then, boom, somebody hits him with a beer. And then, and then... Why would you ever want to fight one of those guys? Those guys are like... Anybody from that Pacers team, like dude. Like, those guys are strong guys. And, like, street... Uh, and street you know, dudes, like, yeah. I would never want to... I mean, they had Jermaine O'Neal... Ron Artest. Dude, that's one of my favorite images is seeing Jermaine O'Neal come out of nowhere and punch a fan. And, like, he had so much momentum where, like, he punches him and the follow through, like, causes him to, like, slide. It's the greatest thing ever. What do the homeless do when we have hurricanes? Uh, They ride the wave. I don't know. Not my problem. <laughs> That's, a good That's a great question. And not a great response on my end. I have no idea. I think they have like shelters. For that. Yeah, right? Like I think they do. Like yeah, this is true. Like my old high school is like a shelter for that stuff. So that's true. I mean, they probably round them up and go to a shelter or something. I almost had to go to one of those. Really? I'm not even homeless, yeah. Because, oh, be homeless. <laughs> because of, you live all the way over there, man. Yeah. That'd be the worst. Imagine sleeping in there. Imagine if you were like normal person you gotta sleep with the homeless people <laughs> 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 that'd be hilarious like, like, under nice and homeless person. this is like on your cot oh. that, would not be that would not be fun at all that's why we just ride it out at the house right they probably practice how to swim who knows man I've actually I, I did this one time and I don't suggest doing this ever it was back in high school in 2004. We missed like a good two months of school because we got hit with three, like three hurricanes back to back to back. It was Wilma. Well, Wilma was like the last one, but there was like, there were like, it was during the Katrina time, I think. We got hit with three hurricanes back to back to back. And uh, I actually went outside during one of the hurricanes. It wasn't that bad. But, dude, those 100-mile-an-hour winds are no joke. And I'm a big dude. I'm over 200 pounds. I, I stepped outside, bro, and it was like I was like Michael Jackson in, uh, in Smooth Operator. I was like I was walking like that. I was like I had to, like, go forward so that I wouldn't, like, get blown back. It was pretty fun. Good times. Would never do that again. <laughs> uh, no, I did not, Wolfie. Did you? Where's that buyback? I wonder what the buyback's going to be. Heath Miller of the Steelers to 50. Now listen, as far as hurricanes are concerned, here in Florida, we're, like, so desensitized to it. Like, we're so used to hurricanes. We throw hurricane parties. Like, we're not worried about it. Once you once you deal with a hurricane like Andrew, every other hurricane after that is nothing. But for those of y'all in the Carolinas, I really hope you guys are prepared for that hurricane. Because it's, it's going to smack. Like, it, it looks like it's heading straight for the, uh, the Carolinas. That's a nice car. 3 out of 10, Jim Otto. That is a nice card. For the Raiders. Oh, Ugo was, but for y'all, right? In, the, in, like, in that area, in, like, the DMV area, Alan? This one, that's, like, old, though. Like, like, way back in the day, right? I think, right? Cooper Cup, 299 Rams. Because, dude, Andrew was... Devastating for us. Where were you living during Andrew? I was actually uh, down south. Oh, so it hit, it hit so right like, here? yeah, it was like the roughest part that it hit was where, where I was at. But thank God nothing happened to, to me or like the house was destroyed. Like destroyed. I had friends at Color Bay, their whole like roofs were ripped off, their pool. Or that's Yeah, that's where I stay. Everything. I live by, by that area. Yeah. So, dude, they were freaking animals walking the streets because of the zoo. Like freaking like actual tigers and lions walking the streets. It's it was ridiculous. Good times, good times.
My thing, listen, as far as the water, you guys have a, like, come on, like, let's not, listen, I'm going to put a stop to this right here. Why are you guys wasting your money buying bottled water? Don't waste your money buying bottled water. Dude, fill fill up your an, an empty gallon full of water. Boil your water. Like you like literally you you could just boil your water from the tap. Like I, I never understood the, the the point of paying for bottled water. Fill up empty water. Yeah, fill up empty water bottles, bro. Soda, like soda bottles. I don't get it. Like I really don't. Like, dude, growing up, I used to I used to drink water out of the hose on the side of the house. And that's like worse than tap water. And I'm doing okay. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm still strong. Don't act like you didn't like you don't drink water from the tap. Come on now. Just fill up some empty water bottles. Don't waste your money buying bottled water. Like that so is don't, don't don't super bad it. And yeah, fill, and fill up a bleach bottle. Or yeah, a, <laughs> or like, like a, Merlot or something. Yeah, don't do don't maybe the Merlot, but the definitely not a laundry detergent. John Kelly, two ninety nine rookie. If anything, I would highly suggest like buying gasoline if you have like a a generator. Um, definitely ice is one thing people don't think about. Get ice for your food to to keep it fresh. Um, batteries for like for your electronics and whatnot for a flashlight and stuff matches so you can build a fire in case you got to Peyton Manning 299 Colts food canned goods yeah canned food stuff you know perishables pop tarts hell yeah I need a, I, I straight up didn't, I went on the road with nothing oh that's right you drove all the way to New Orleans and we had to wait two hours to get gas and, jeez uh, man I went out there without even getting an oil change Horrible. I learned my lesson on that. But yeah, that's no joke. That's prepare why I just think prepare right now. No, yeah, for sure you got to prepare now. Yeah, like, no joke. On that. Don't prepare like, oh, it's two days away. No, like y'all should be preparing like now. Land for net Jags patch, dude. Last year when you went away, it was like it felt like Mad Max, like trying to go get gas. It was ridiculous. I had no running water when I got back for two weeks. Really? I took a shower and Damn, water dude. didn't turn up. I went without power. I went without power for two weeks. Yeah, I, did that too. I could go without power, but going without running water, yeah. that is that's man, that's tough. Kurt Warner to ten for the Rams. That's nice. I think it was like last week, a year ago, when that hurricane came. Yeah. About like a year ago to the day or something like that. You got a well, Alan? Nice. Got fresh water all day, every day, or something like that. I don't know how that works. Where's Alan? Luke? I think he's like in the in the Virginia area. Deontay Burnett to 175. There's been some low numbered stuff on this. Still no buyback auto. Oh, my man's in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, last I checked, it was like a, a Category 4. They're saying it's going to be a Category 4 when it makes landfall. I'm hoping that it, you know, it, it, it loses strength. See, like here in Miami, like in South Florida, we're like so used to hurricanes that like all of our houses are built to code to withstand hurricanes after Andrew. So, uh, dude, unless it's like a stronger hurricane than Andrew, we ain't worried about it. Well, these windows. It feels like hurricane five, it might blow these windows. I don't know, dude, because Mario and Alyssa spent the night here for the hurricane. I think when it hit us, it was like a category three or four. And they, they were saying the building was like swaying. Damn, I would be scared as hell. I'd, dude, I would be scared shitless. I don't know how they slept in here. But yeah, Category 5, I don't know if it would knock the building down, but it would do some serious damage. Because the, 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 the roof was leaking during uh, last year's hurricane. So for a 5, it would be, man, that stuff is no joke.
But yeah, we have we have hurricane parties. Like we're we we are we're a different breed here in Florida. We're the, you know we live in the Australia of the USA. Everything here in Florida is trying to kill you. Oh hell yeah! So That's a like nice a park, ass a park there, like with Crandon the Park, gate, and they have like, like a disc golf course. I don't know if you know what disc golf is. It's like it's basically golf with a frisbee. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they have a real nice disc golf course there. So I was playing disc golf. The first hole, I go to find my my uh, disc in the woods, and alligators in there. Oh hell! I'm no. like, what the heck is this? That's Florida for you. Right? No signs or anything. Nope. You just go into the woods and you get oh, just chilling there. An alligator. I was cutting the. This was years ago. I was cutting the grass. And it wasn't even like tall grass, and I seen like a fucking Burmese python just wriggle right by. I was like, "What? Those aren't even indigenous to Florida." Oh, that's almost pet. Yeah, that people dump uh, their their like exotic like once they like they grow to a certain point like they can't keep them, they just dump them in the Everglades. And I live like pretty close to the Everglades, so. Minka to ninety nine, dude. Wait till he's, you he's gonna be good. I mean, oh, Minka's a beast. I've seen a Black Panther once. That shit was scary as fuck. Because I didn't even see him until I saw his eyes. Because it was nighttime. Dude, no joke. That, you just see like red eyes. I thought it was like a demon. That's just scary as fuck. James Washington to uh, 299, rookie. The hurricane party, Alan. That's right, baby. Got to spread awareness of hurricane parties. Like your washer and dryer, they double as a as as a, as a as a water cooler. You know, fill that thing up with ice. Throw your beers in there. You're good to go, baby. Minka is from Alabama, Alan. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Dante Pettis to 25. He's a niner. Minka's a beast. How about the tight end for the Dolphins too? He played well. Uh, Gesicki. Yeah, Gesicki did have a Miga. touchdown. He's Miga. But he did give up that one pick six. Well, it wasn't a pick six, but he did give up that one interception to Butler, where Butler basically like pushed him down and got the pick in the end zone. Yeah, he'll learn though. Yeah, exactly. He'll learn. It's his first year. He'll be all right. Jason Taylor to one seventy five Dolphins. Uh, dude, uh, Brian, I dude, I've I've had a filler for it, but people don't seem to be into it. Uh, let me find it again. Here it is. I had the steel curtain down for two spots at $55 a spot. I got 11 spots left. Check it out. Boom. Uh, Alan, that's not going to happen. That is never going to happen for me. But you do have 11 spots left in that absolute filler. 55 bucks gets you a random team, two silver packs, and a shot at the Giants in a full case break of absolute football. Two spots, I'm sorry, 11 spots left. Two spots are gone. Going to my boy, the uh, Steel Curtain. Denzel Ward looked really good, too. Two picks as a rookie. I don't think that's ever been done in their first game. Brett uh, Favre to 299 Packers. Thomas Move ever, though, was getting rid of Khalil Mack. Dude, How that, do you do that? Like, I and, come in as a... As a, like a head coach, brand new head coach of the team. And you let your best player go. The best, co best player on all of defense, the most expensive player, go. And somebody came out and said uh, that not once did John Gruden ever like reach out to Khalil Mack to like try to talk to him and see like where his head was at. Because Khalil Mack like, really wanted to stay in, in Oakland. But John Gruden made it seem like he didn't want to be there, which is false. Carlton Davis autographed to 99. Dude, Denzel Ward has the makings to be a beast. Yo, exactly. You heard about that? He came, like, yesterday, like, in the post-game interview, he's like, oh, you know, if we had a better pass rush, we probably would. Like, are you a fucking retard? Like, do you just realize what you just said? If we had a pass rush, you had the best pass rusher in the league. By far! Oh, I you know, if only we had a pass rush. You're just... John Gruden, to me, has and always will be an overrated coach. Dolphin sticker. Like, I love his fieriness. I love the intensity. He says all the right things. 
but to me, he's overrated. The, the in the in the last like like okay, he hasn't coached in like ten years, but I think I saw a stat somewhere that before that, when he was actually coaching, he had only made the playoffs like twice in ten years. That's not very good. Uh, no, Brian, the silver packs are only offered to the filler. Filler only. Silver packs are filler only. But good job. Good good job. Good, 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 good effort. Ooh, the greatest of all time. Dan Marino. Patch for the Dolphins. Do you, you want any Dolphin games this year? I would love to. I'm going to a Hurricane game, actually, uh, in Georgia. We, when we oh, play nice. Georgia Tech, yeah, I got family out there. They already bought my ticket. I just got to go there. I so, go to the Virginia Tech game. I don't know if they're playing in Miami. Or oh, that game is always nuts. Yeah, I, always but I, need, I haven't been to a Dolphins game at the new stadium. Oh, I'll man. probably go against the Patriots. Maybe Dolphins this. games are so much fun, especially if you tailgate. Yeah. So much fun. And I would like to get to a Dolphins game I'll this year, know if I go. but they're ex dude, they're expensive, I want man. Like or more. I don't care where I sit. Dude, even if you sit in the nosebleeds, you see everything. You could read the names on the back of the jersey and everything. Yeah, and even like nosebleeds tickets are like in the hundreds. Really? That much? Yeah, dude. So. Dolphins tickets are expensive. You would think they'd be cheap for as long as we've been sucking. I might have to get my boss. I got good connections over there. For the there's job? Yeah. I bet. They're in there, too. Oh, yeah? yeah nice. I I work with, uh, they wanted me to work there, too, but I can't do that. Where? I my son is oh, with the, the Dolphins? Dolphins? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, you probably make bank doing that, Eight though. Games, yeah. Imagine the last game with seven hours. Let's see drinking. Dude. <laughs> hell, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. This would be box number five, I believe. Yes. Still no buyback? Not yet, but it's coming. I wonder who it's going to be. It's a 99 Marshall Falk Rams. I call a Randy Moss. Ooh, that'd be disgusting. Bengal sticker. Patriot sticker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I was like, huh. I think that was only for the movie Pet Detective. Uh, for the Marlins, back, or for, I mean for the Dolphins back in the day. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think we have a dolphin <laughs> in like an aquarium or something. Although, in the, in the Marlins stadium, we do have like this little aquarium. In like in the back, I want to say it's like in midfield, right behind, right behind home plate. Right behind, oh, it's behind home plate. My bad. And yeah, it's like a little aquarium there. That's kind of cool. But they're thinking about maybe getting rid of it. It's kind of tacky. I like it though. Yeah. It's 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 Miami, just like that big ass mural they got in the back there, yeah. where every time we hit a home run, they like it goes nuts. I like the Marlins Stadium. We got that retractable roof. It's a really nice stadium. I like going just to like just to have a beer and just go drink. Only in Miami do they put like a nightclub inside the studio, inside the the stadium. I mean, Ken Anderson a fifty for the Bengals. You ever been to the Clevelander no, out I there? Still haven't been there? They got the pool there. They got the pool. They got like the little mermaid girls swimming in that yeah. thing too. One of my boys actually like he. Pretended to fall inside the the pool and like swam with the girls and stuff. He got kicked <laughs> out, but it's a cool story. Patch with the Bears, Mike Singletary. Oh, the Marlins are terrible. The, Mar the Marlins are hot garbage. Oh, 
Kellen Winslow to 65 for the Chargers. But they're mine. They're my Dolphins. Or, or they're my Marlins, too. Kurt Bankert, the rookie autograph to 199. Terry Bradshaw, 299 Steelers. That stock's getting a little tall. Deshaun Watson, 99 Texans. Cameron Petway, 299 rookie. So we had a legit, I don't even know that. Apparently we had a legit Dolphin. Back in the sixties, and listen, that's that's what we're all about. Oh, don't don't forget, we got the Miami Heat, which is like the most accurate of all of the sports teams here in Miami. Like, yeah, I've, yeah, I've lived in Miami for over twenty five years, and I've never seen a single dolphin. And I, you know, I'm in, I'm at the I'm at the I'm at the water, I'm at the beach every now and then. Haven't seen a single dolphin, no. or a marlin for that matter. Really? You never been to the Aquarium? Oh, okay. I thought you meant like or like uh, the water. Yeah, like it's like in like in dolphins on South like it is natural habitat. Really? Yeah. Nice. I would have been a little drunk, but maybe. They <laughs> <laughs> Lamar Miller, two ninety nine Texas. Probably just like sunfish. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah. But Man you've seen a manatee. I've seen manatees for sure, like water elephants. Those things are huge. Over there by the marina on South Beach, there's like there's these big ass fish too. I don't know what they are, but they're freaking huge. Oh yeah, we got the Florida Panthers. I, I've actually I was telling uh, Silverman, I actually see, have seen a black panther before, and those things are scary as hell. At nighttime, man. they're endangered right now. The Panthers. Yeah, probably because the, the freaking pythons are eating them all. But yeah, of of all of all the uh, the sports teams, I would say the Heat are the most accurate. Cause you you know you you may have seen a dolphin, you might have seen a panther, you might have seen a marlin, but you gonna feel that heat every day. As soon as you step out the house, you gonna feel that uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That humidity. Oh, that was an ugly pack. I wish these open. I wish Panini made their packs as easy to open as tops. Would you just like press something and just open? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like shoot. With the, like with the technology we have nowadays. Yeah, all no, right. It's so much better. Or like the, they just like like a ziplock that you just, like, open. Like, shoot. You seal back up. These no. Oh, God, that's crap. Then again, it's me opening it up, so. Take that into account. Yeah, so if we really had a Dolphins uh, as a mascot back in the day, and it did tricks when we scored, wow. Yeah, yeah I can see why we no longer have that as a mascot. Was it? It was like a pool? Apparently we had like a little tank or something for him. I can see why it's not there anymore. PETA probably came through and was like, uh, you can't do that. I'm out, bitches. Later. Bitch man. See you again soon. Okay. Nothing here. As a matter of fact, you know what? Stacks are getting a little tall. Put I figured, man, that's that. I wouldn't, man, why would you put a, a dolphin? I can only imagine the tank was not very big. Got Tremaine Emmons to 25. Uh, rookie, I believe he's a Bill.
Games were probably crazy in the 80s, though. Could you imagine? Like, oh, like, man. Probably like awesome. Like cowboy days. Like going Hell, after yeah. Really game. <laughs> oh, my God. The tailgates. What a time to be alive. Oh, yeah. Barry Sanders patch for the Lions. And I'm sure we put like a like a black light through this building. I'm pretty sure we'll find like cocaine residue or something. Find money in the walls. Yeah, hell yeah, right? <laughs> Baker Mayfield to 229, rookie for the Browns. They uh, they tore up, I think, uh, Pablo Escobar's house on Star Island. And they, they found, found stuff? A bunch of stuff in this long nice. Yeah, a, safe, a safe they found. Who yeah, in, in Colombia, in one of his ranches, they uh, to this day, they still find like bags of money, but it's all like rotten and stuff, so it's worthless. I can only imagine all the money that dude's yeah, just thrown so away. Stuff, right. Like AJ Green of 50 for the Bengals. And it's all South Miami, too. There's people, that, you know, like they'll find it like 10 years from now. When they're Shoot, let me know. find a bag. Exactly. I mean, just, just bless me with one of Escobar's bags. I mean, just chilling. Roquan Smith. That's a good one. Autograph for Dub Bears to 189. Very true, Brian. We barely score anymore. Although we did put up 27 on the Titans uh, last Sunday. And we're tied for first place in the division. And we're currently undefeated. But, you know, whatever. What do we do to Mariota? We hurt him? Uh, he, I think he like messed his elbow up or something. I don't think it's like oh, that probably. severe, though, of an injury. But I guess bad enough to knock him out. He was probably just tired of, I'm not going to wait another six hours to play. That's what I hate about first week. There was a bunch of injuries this year. Dude. Big injuries, too. I think they should just get it, do away with the preseason. Or, or at least cut it down to, like, two games or something. You know, one game no for... Point. Like, yeah, there was... Half the starters didn't even play one snap. Exactly. And then they're not ready for the game, first game. So, like, have one game where you play the rookies, and then the other game you play... Half the game you play the rookies, the other half you play, like, the veterans or something. But, yeah, there's always lots of injuries during preseason. That was good we did the draft the other day. Exactly. I was just about to say, that's why I'm glad we did the draft, like, the day of or so, like, the day before. So you didn't draft, like, somebody that's already gone for the year. Devin Bellamy to 99. Checking on the Tinder freaks. Where you at, Daddy? I'm not even on there. Really. Girl, I'm with the I'm with the Moses right now. <laughs> Randall Cobb, two ninety nine Packers. Right, like yeah, exactly. Make the preseason count for something. Like I don't know. When I, when I when I own the Dolphins about twenty years from now, uh, I'll talk to the commissioner see if I can make a change. That Pro Bowl is the most pointless game I've ever. So seen. stupid. Like, why do they even do that? Mike Evans of the Bucks to sixty five. Players don't even show up for it. Right. It My thing is like they have the don't they have the Pro Bowl before Orlando, the Super Bowl? Yeah. That's so dumb. It used to be in Hawaii, which was cool. It used to be in Hawaii, Orlando. and it used to be like after the the Super Bowl. Which is you know. Which, which makes sense because that way you know. It's an All Star game. Yeah, exactly. So, like, people, and plus, most of the players, or some players that are in the Super Bowl are probably Pro Bowlers. Yeah. They don't even get to play in the Pro Bowl because they're in the Super Bowl. Carl Eller, 299 Vikings. And the whole fun of it was you get to bring your family out to Hawaii. Yup. Chill out there for... They, still, they don't do it in Hawaii no more? I think it's Orlando now. Damn. Which is good for me, I guess. Orlando's like, fun, but not like Hawaii. Fun. Oh, hell yeah. It's freaking Hawaii, you do man. You're in Orlando. Yeah, exactly. You're in Orlando. It's not... It's Orlando. Can't compare Orlando to Hawaii. We got seven boxes of what is this? Box number seven? Yeah, I'm in box number seven right now. What's the difference between a typhoon and a hurricane? Uh, I think a hurricane is counterclockwise and a typhoon is clockwise. Is it? I think that's what the difference. Is that 
they should remove the Pro Bowl and do like a Pro Combine skills challenge kind of thing. Well, they do that already. They they have like a like a skills challenge. Yeah, you throw the ball through that. Thing. Yeah, like they they have something like that already for like the quarterbacks, receivers, running backs. They should have like a rookie sophomore game. That would be cool. Hell yeah, like basketball. Yeah. Like that's I like ba- basketball. Does it really well? Their All Star Weekend. Or like international well, versus. Like well, like versus. Friday they'll have like the uh, the celebrity game. Yeah. And then they'll have, like, the instead of the rookie sophomore game, they'll have, like, the celebrity game or something. Or they'll have, like, the uh, Team USA versus Team World, which is something they do now. Um, and then Saturday, you ha- exactly, Saturday is that. And then Sunday, you have the game. That's something they could do. But, like, yeah, definitely or do. flag football. Yeah, exactly. Do, like, a flag so football. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'll bring back some of the old-timers. We got, we got ideas here. We got ideas here. They do that for baseball. They got like 80-year-old men out there playing baseball. You know, You're right. Games exactly. Like during the same uh, thing for flag football. Yep. Bring Barry Sanders out there, Michael Vick. They still for sure. Play. Yeah, like in, in baseball, they have the softball game, right, where they have like legends and stuff. Yeah, playing against like celebrities. Or like yeah, that's cool as hell. I'd love to see that in football. Dude, in football, that would be awesome. Have Warren Moon's old ass back there throwing, you know, passes to... What? Dude, that would be awesome. Somebody needs to get... With no helmets. Yo, somebody get me in contact with Goodell right now. Yeah. Me and Silverman got ideas. We need to get paid. All right. Let's see what's in this box. Keenan Island, 299 Chargers. Wrong. We got Carson Wentz, Zach Ertz, dual relic for the Eagles. Where or where is that buyback? Devonta Freeman to ninety nine Falcons. Oh, so the difference between a typhoon and a hurricane is just where they are formed. Interesting. I just learned something today. What does that mean? It depends on where, like, where it forms. So, like, if it forms in the Atlantic, it's a hurricane, right? The Atlantic is to the right of us. Yeah. And then if it forms in like the Pacific, it's a typhoon. I think that's what I it think is. Typhoons are stronger than. Typhoons are stronger than hurricanes. Yeah, the Pacific, I think, is the, the huh. waves are stronger. Mike White, two ninety nine. You hear like in Indonesia and all those countries, they get slammed. They those do. Get, typhoons are way worse. Than what the I hurricanes. do, what I think of too, is like just like you said, it's like they're probably like third world countries that are getting destroyed. So it's like a fifty or hundred foot wave like will sweep over the whole country. You know, like you've seen some of those videos on CNN. Yeah, I've seen some crazy stuff. But that's why I also think it's like, well, if it, if one of those storms hit us, it probably wouldn't hurt us that bad because I like to think that we have like. But they also tell us three three like weeks in week advance, ahead. right? There, they might not even have television or internet. Yeah, in some of those countries. Curly Cope to uh, two ninety nine for the Chiefs. Out for a stroll. They make, you know, they oh shit! It's a there. fucking typhoon. <laughs> no, here we got like three weeks in advance, and we still stay. T- <laughs> we just still stay here. <laughs> Jalen Samuels to forty nine rookie auto. He... I find it fascinating. They send the airplanes up into the. The cloud to see what's going on with the hurricane. That's scary as hell. Yeah, like seeing some of the NASA pictures or whatever from like from space. So what do you do for a job? Oh, I fly into hurricanes. Take pictures. <sighs> Actually, there's a I think it's like Storm Chaser or something like that. It's like this show where they haven't done it with hurricanes, but they'll like fly into like tornadoes and stuff with like a specially built like truck or something. That shit is crazy. Oh, and we get, and we get tornadoes in South Florida now too, randomly. Brett Favre, Packers, numbered 4 of 15. That's nice. That is nice. Timeless tribute. Very nice looking card. Who do you think was better, Brett Favre or Aaron Rodgers? Oof. As of now, I got to go Favre. Favre 
just just because his career is already done. But do you think Aaron Rodgers has potential? To be but if like if I were if, if I was to put like I don't even know if Aaron Rodgers has hit his prime yet, but I would I would probably take Aaron Rod- like Aaron Rodgers to me is the most pure like he makes the position look effortless. I don't think I don't like he's like Brady. But- Brady but mobile. What that's the only thing about Brady, the only chink in his armor is he cannot move at all. Great pocket awareness, so he can like you know when he does have to move, whatever. But Aaron Rodgers could scramble and do. He got some wheels. He got some wheels. But Aaron Rodgers probably the purest passer. I've, like there is no pass that he cannot make. Like I, I don't know that, that guy is that guy's insane. The guy's a cheat code. Like if like he, he he's like he was built in a lab, but what I do like about Favre is a gamer, dude. Like game, like he could throw five picks in a game. He was tough too. And then yeah, and then exa- Iron Man. Like I, like I forgot what his streak was where he went like years without like, with playing like the whole season and stuff. Uh, to fifty, Charlie Joyner, Chargers. That's a great question though. Favre or Rogers? Mm, I don't know. Manny, you could even throw Drew Brees in there. Right Peyton or or, or Rodgers, because Peyton is a really good. I like Peyton, Manning. Peyton Manning is a beast. I feel like people don't don't give him the respect he deserves. So I was right, huh, Brian? Connor clockwise northern hemisphere, clockwise southern hemisphere. Although, well, I, I was half right. I guess I don't know. Whatever. Paul Warfield to twenty five for the Dolphins. I, I need that man's jersey. Yeah, we'll never get a typhoon, but we're going to get hurricanes, though. As long as we don't get tsunamis. You never know. It could be some, like, super storm. I know, right? Pacific and the Atlantic. Fuck. Right, like, if there's, like, a huge enough earthquake on the other side of the world. Oh, my God. You never know what's about to go down. I wouldn't put anything past this world. Yeah, I know, right? Especially what we do, you know. We screw up the whole atmosphere, so you never know what's going to happen. And I feel like, not for nothing, but I feel like... It's getting hotter and hotter every summer. Yeah. Especially going up north to Ohio and Michigan, like over the last couple of weeks. It's never that hot. Like it was hotter there. Right? Than like later on in the year and stuff. Whoa, Ryan. What's up with the hatred towards Peyton Manning? What'd he do to you? I like Peyton when he was on the Colts. I don't know that's that's the Peyton I like too with the Colts. But he would always get spanked by Brady. I was like him to him to Marvin Harrison. Has anyone seen the huge aircraft found in Antarctica thought to be a UFO? I never even heard of that. And I and I like to watch videos on YouTube for like freaky stuff like that. Yeah, that, now that trash is <laughs> fool for sure. Here's a question: If you saw a UFO tonight, mm. if all of us saw UFOs tonight, would you go back tomorrow as like a as like nothing was changed? Or did your whole life change overnight? No, I would I'm just normal shit, I guess. Actually, I, like I an I, alien was interviewed on CNN tomorrow. Oh damn! Would you would your life change completely? I don't think so. Really? Unless there's like an alien invasion. Well, that's a different story. You know what I mean? But like, eh, wouldn't really affect me. If anything, I'd be like, "Hi, I told you so." Because <laughs> I've seen my fair share of like UFOs, like not aliens, of course, but I've like seen some crazy things over the ocean, like just sitting yeah, the dude. I've seen, stuff. I've seen some crap, but I don't think it would affect me as far as like. Oh shit, aliens exist. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Fuck this breaking shit. Aliens are around. Nah, man, but uh, unless it's like well, your life would be different. It would be different to some degree, yeah. It'd be cool if they like if they let us into like the oh humans, you guys are now allowed to the the in, you know, the intergalactic uh, space federation. Congratulations. They're like like tonight we can go visit another planet. Come with us. That would be awesome. That would be crazy. That would be cool. I'd <laughs> sign up for that shit. <laughs> All right. 
Rip City from Mars. Rip City breaks from Mars? What? That would be that would be that. awesome. Oh yeah. Breaks in zero gravity. Just base cards all over the place. Barry Sanders to 99 Lions. The first football game played on uh, on Venus or something. Eli to 299 for the Giants. These little crumbs make the card slip. What about you? Would you like just quit everything? I'm yeah, no I, would, I would just like move out in the middle of the wilderness. Just <laughs> forget about everything. Get away from all these humans. I, just, I don't know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'd probably be scared shitless. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. But that, like, everything would go out the, the drains, like, all religion, everything. Everything like, is... You could be like, told you so. You're know, like, we're not the only ones. Told you! <laughs> Ask the aliens, what do you believe in? They're like, we've been around for five billion years. We, you guys are idiots. We, we are God. Right. That would be, you That'd know... That would be insane. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely fuck we'll a lot of people's... Up. <laughs> a lot of... Fuck up, up. fuck up a lot of people's heads <laughs> with that shit. I've been worshipping the wrong thing? What? Oh that would be, that'd be crazy. Robert Foster to 49. Like, there was a, there's the comedian I like to watch. I think it's, I think it's either Bill Burr or uh, Patrice O'Neill where he's like, oh, dude, like, I don't even, I believe in God, but, like, I don't practice a religion. And then he was like, because, like, how fucked up would it be if you if you die and you go to hell and God's like, oh, well, you were a good dude, but, ah, uh, see, you are a Christian. That's the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong religion, homie. Like, you got to go to hell now. You know, the right one was Buddhist. Buddhist had it right. <laughs> you you were a good dude, but mm, you picked the wrong religion. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> that would be pretty shitty. Yeah. So he goes, he's like, so I don't practice anything just, <laughs> just to be safe. Like, you know, I believe in the one true given. That's it. That's Brett Favre, the Packers patch. What do we got? This is a religion, though. Rip City. Rip City is we life. This we got Jesus. This is true. We got, the, got the disciples. Tell me, Joshua Jackson to two ninety nine rookie. It's been all right. It's not. It's been. It's been a decent case, brave. Oh, well, it's coming. Now I feel that buyback it's coming. Boxes, exactly. Uh, Don Mushkowski two ninety nine Packers. I was watching this video on YouTube. Uh, apparently, there's a there's a civilization on the dark side of the moon that that nobody knows about. Exactly, exactly. That'd be crazy. Seven of ten, semi cops, junior, a rookie. Like in an alternate reality. Where the freaking Nazis won the war. That would be insane. Or it could be like Truman Show. We're all just like. Oh, you know, dude. That, like, I think about that shit. all fake. I think about that <laughs> shit all the time. That, right? I'll, I think about the shit like that all the time. Yeah. Like, who the fuck is. Like, who am I entertaining right now? We're all entertaining someone. Yeah, I know, right? Like, what if Earth is like just one giant reality show? Yep. Like, just for aliens. Like, oh, did you see today's episode of earth <laughs> silverman finally came to rip to the office bro i didn't think that was gonna happen that's why the dimaggio hit. Yeah, exactly the dimaggio first. came was like oh shit let's let's do something like, good like for I, the silverman around for two years we might as well bring it out today. exactly stevie young to 65 so for this the buybacks miners it's gonna be galactic i hope so i hope so I hope our fans in the Andromeda cluster like an are Emmett watching. Smith Alien 101 or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> we got Charlie Taylor to 99 Redskins. The Samsung Galaxy F is a bendable phone? What? It'd be kind of cool. For years I've always said that that the that the iPhone should have like a like a like a camera or something that allowed it to to display like a projector, basically. That'd be cool. Like on, like somewhere on the iPhone, put like a little projector, put it up against the wall. That'd be dope. I got ideas for days. 
Two boxes left. As you call, you know how they say that uh, George Foreman commercial. He's like, if you have, you have inventions ideas, it gives you that one eight hundred number. Mm -hmm. Just call the one eight hundred number and just tell them all your ideas. Yo, dog, I got. All right, be like what the hell? Damn, bro. They probably would like be like, come on in. Right? I would hope so. He gets a check for $50,000. So That'd be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. We just call in and just tell them about like, your invention and it'd be like the George Foreman girl. <laughs> you know what I'm I reinvented, reinvented the wheel. Yeah, like <laughs> reinvented the Foreman grill. It's the Moses grill. The Moses grill. I love it. Wait, the buyback has to be here. It's in this box or that box. It's, it's got to be. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I've pulled it yet. No, no. The buybacks. Well, sometimes they're redemptions. I gotta come here and watch it. Oh, my Chrome is open. It's probably so many jacks on this one. Oh man. You guys gonna do a ten case or anything? Yeah, you were. Were you? Uh, were, did watching, you see that? Yeah, I was. I had a couple of players in there. There was freaking. I think Jason took a picture. We like that. All that was just boxes and yeah. packs, up until like the middle of that line there, the divider or whatever. That was fun. That break took like four hours to do. All right. Hope it's like a one on one, like something sick. Franco Harris of the Steelers to sixty five. I once went to hell in one of my dreams, Brian. That that's when I learned how to uh, lucid dream. Out of out of necessity. I don't, I don't know what, like, I could barely remember it to this day, but, like, for, for the most part, I went to hell, and it was, like, Freddy Krueger was there, Jason was there, like, all these, like, popular, like, like evil dudes, like, scary movie guys were there, and then I was, like, I just remember being, like, scared shitless, and then I just started thinking to myself, there's no way this is real. This is, I'm in a dream, so once I knew I was in a dream, inside the dream, I was able to like manipulate the dream. I turned into like a Superman and I whooped everybody's ass. And then I woke up and I was like, oh shit. Deontay Burnett to 50. That's like one of the few dreams I could like remember. I used to suffer from sleep paralysis when I was little. That is some scary shit. What happened? You stopped breathing when you were sleeping? No, sleep paralysis is when like you're, like you're awake, but your body's not. So it's like you're basically trapped in your body. Like it, it would the what it would happen to me was like I would wake up and like I would try to move but I can't move. I would try to like like scream or say something, my mouth wouldn't open. Like like it would uh, my eyes would just be open and it would I felt like somebody was watching me. But, dude, it's so, so fucking you, scary, you just, bro. You just like outgrew out that. Uh, yeah, it only ha like it happened to me when I was little, and then once I learned how to lucid dream. It kind of stopped, and then it just it just it would happen to me randomly. But ever since, like, I think the last time it happened to me, it was like the seventh grade. Ever since then, I, ha I haven't had a uh, sleep paralysis, which is awesome. I, I I would not wish that on anybody, bro. Like you wait, like you literally are like trapped in your body. It's bro, it's the scariest feeling ever, ever. Like you're trapped in your body. Like you can't scream, you can't move, you can't do nothing. It's it's scary as shit. Like what what was even scarier was that like I was. I could hear everything around me. I could hear my mom have a conversation because it was the middle of the day. I like took a nap or something. I passed out on the couch and like I woke up and I couldn't move. My mom was talking to my stepdad like they were having a full on like argument or some shit. And I was like trying to scream like I was like, mom, mom. Nothing was coming out of my bro. It was the scariest shit ever, bro. That's just no. I don't wish that on anybody. Ed Reed, 299 Ravens. Whereas when you wake up and you can't feel your limbs, like you know what I'm saying, you can't feel your arms, your legs. You ever had that? What the hell is this? Oh! oh. oh. 
Oh, oh shit! shit. Really good. One <laughs> of nine, oh, Michael man. Vick. Damn. That is rid. Is that no? Nah, that's not his rookie year. What year is it? His rookie year, I want to say, was like ninety nine or something. Card, yeah, 2001 was his rookie year. This is a 2002 card, so this is his second Dude, that's year. That's a great card. That's a very rare card. Dude, oh I'm my god. Sure. Michael I'm Vick, sure. one of nine buyback autograph for the Falcons. Damn. I told you it was going to be a hot number. Dude, and the Falcons are a filler team. Damn. There you go, Michael. Dude, that's insane, nasty hit right there. Oh my god. That is a sick hit, bro. Yo, I need a top Michael order. Vick would have liked it if you brought that to the national. Yeah, like, right? That card's cool. No, dude, Michael Vick is a super so, cool dude, too, by the way. He's like my height. He's not that tall. Can you grab me a top loader? Yeah. Just like a Just regular normal. top loader? Yeah. That card's sick. It's because you're here, bro. Ronald Jones, the second to the 299. Thank you, man. I mm, think this is like a 55. Get like a standard top loader. Oh, that's yes, that's what she said. It'll say like 25 point top loader or something like that. You rode a, me a giant megalodon shark? How did you manage that one? Thank you, bro. Damn, a Vic. One of nine two. Sad. That is that is that is just nice. It's nasty. Gonna have to take a picture of that for sure. Terrell Suggs patch for the Ravens. He's products like this, hot fire. You would never expect it. Dumb, stupid, nice stuff in one of these. For the price, is the best. Exactly. It's like it's a low end product, but it has like stupid stuff like that. Just when you think you've seen it all. Mike Singletary to 99 Bears. Damn, today's been really nice hits, dude. You got you to gotta be here every day, man. Jeez. <laughs> we, call them free, we could call them Freaky Fridays. Freaky Fridays. It's fun on this end. When you guys will make me break up, I'll be like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right? Exactly. This place sucks. <laughs> Ooh, Todd Gurley. Three of five for the Rams. I feel like I'm on a field trip today. This is a. I can okay. Your parents signed the letter. I can see that. I can see that. I'm on a little field trip. A little field trip. Kind of take away the you know you see the green screen like it's all fake. It's all he's not really on a cruise. He's a phony. 150 Panini points, which sucks because that replaced a hit. Actually. No, the no, buyback extra, auto came out of this box, so that was extra. Okay, cool. Did you tell Panini rep that they got to start doing that? What? Put the points in on top of the auto. As extras? The auto. I, didn't, I didn't get a chance. Dude, I barely left the booth this year. Yeah. But I, 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 can't, I, I really, really... When I go to Chicago, I'll, I'll let it be known. I would love to, like, yeah, no, speak to, like, a I representative or something. Be like, yo, dude, like, seriously? This, like, come on. Like, it's not fair. It's really. It's I opened a box. What was it? Certified uh, in my car shop. I got. Uh, you're supposed to get four hits. Either two. Mems two, or autos, two autos. Two relics is usually. Uh, I got two mems and one auto. That's it. So they shorted you an shorted auto. Me, yeah, and I don't feel like getting a hold of the reps or anything like that. I just. No, nah, but that's. that's they get fun. away with saying shit like yeah, this. On that on average crap. I actually spoke to a representative, and that's. That's what she told me. She's like, well, we don't really guarantee. It's like you know, gambling, you know, like, it's like anything. It's like scratch out tickets. Exactly. Like but yeah, dude, if they if they threw in panini points, like just like a as an extra hit, that would be ah, oh, would be awesome. Because I feel like they get a bad rep now, right? Yeah. Like nobody really likes panini points. Because you need so many of them to like actually get something decent, right? I think you got to get like 12,000 Panini points or something to get like a market and autograph or something like that. They sell like, for decent money though. I mean, like the 
one fifty for probably worth like probably five or ten bucks each. Oh yeah? That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, this is the last box mojo. Wait, we, what was it? That Sherman? That was it? That Richard Sherman was in that? Was Robbie right there? No, no, that was just like a... I thought that was going to be the one. Like an insert or something. Michael Vick was way better. Than Hell Sherman. yeah. That's what I was like. Yeah. Well, I saw your friend. I told you before. It's a guy named Camilio. Camilio? Camilo? He's a... He's, he's broken with you guys. Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. He's like a soccer product. He does a lot of soccer. Camilo something. Camilo. Yeah, Camilo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it sounds familiar. Like an older gentleman. He told me he was at the Nationals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was at the yeah, Pitney. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, I know exactly he, who you're talking he about. He told me a story. He lives here, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's he from around here. Oh, yeah, nice. He, um, he works with you or something? No, but I saw him at the car shop. He goes to that car shop. Oh, okay. The one for your boy? Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. He said he was in line to see Michael Vick at the, at the VIP thing, and there was a girl or a guy there with a... A dog with like a like a service and then dog, me and, him and they like, wouldn't let they wouldn't they let wouldn't the dog let, nope, like get nope, the picture with nope, Michael Vick. Nope. Like, oh. Can you imagine that picture? No, me and Camila looked at each other. We're like, bro, I wonder if they're gonna let the. <laughs> and we just start laughing to each other. So that's funny that it actually oh, happened. That's that? funny as fuck. Yeah. Camila's cool dude, man. That's yeah. my guy right there. All right, last box mojo. Let's see what kind of hotness we got coming out of this. Oh, bro. Be ridiculous. Ty Law to 99 Patriots. We got a couple of randoms to do after this is done. Jim Kelly. Nice three color patch to 50 for the Bills. Kelly Strong. This break usually takes a while. Because look at all those base cards, dude. Great wall of base cards. A Roger Craig for the Niners. 299. A Harold Landry rookie. Was that to like five? Yep, two of five. We've got some low number parallels in this case. Very nice. Two of five, Harold Landry. What day is today? Tuesday. Man, I need to try to like. I've been trying to like come in earlier and earlier to like change my sleeping schedule. No. Dude, I don't leave the office until like 5, 6 in the morning. So then like I go home and I try, I'm trying to like decompress and chill. And of course I can't go to sleep. So I probably don't go to sleep until like 11 or 12. So I'm trying to change that. Jordan Howard, 299 Bears. Steeler sticker. DJ Chark, two ninety nine. And the last stack here. I don't think we've hit the auto just yet, but it should be coming out to play. Le'Veon Bell of the Steelers, two ninety nine. He should just sit out the whole year. And let the Lions pick him up next year for that max contract. Dolphins. That'll be sick. That'd be awesome. Bro. Josh Allen to 99. Just trade him straight up right now for Kenyon Drake. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it in a heartbeat. I love Kenyon Drake. Just throw Tannehill in too. <laughs> well, we need somebody. We need somebody to throw the ball. Unless we're going to get Cuddy back. And a Chuck Foreman Vikings autograph. The 1973 Offensive Rookie of the Year. Some, there's some nice stuff in here every now and then. And that finally brings us to the end of the break. 
All right, there's a couple things I need to do. Starting with these cards. They need a home. I got a team on the left and on the right. So what I'm gonna do is, there's probably doubles of some of these. So I'm gonna go through them. If there are doubles, I'll just give like one to each. Cause I'm nice like that. And then random the others. Well, so far I got like doubles. Well that's like three of those. That's three. Jets Dolphins two. And I think the rest of these are just whatever, right? Yes. So that one has three. This one has three. All the other ones are doubled. Okay, so these I'm just going to give one to each. Because I'm nice like that. I'll spread the loving. so that way my sorters know where it goes but for the rest of these these are going to get randomed so let's put these aside take care of that later come on alright so let's random these so we're all six sided die if I get an odd number, it's going to go to the left side team. Even number, right side team. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Number one is odd last I checked. So left side team. So Packers, Bears, Chargers, Cowboys, Bears, Seahawks, Steelers, and Raiders. Here's where that's going. Let me write it on these dummy cards. Side team. And I also like to do a random for the unsigned slash undrafted players as well. Cause some players don't get signed don't uh, don't go drafted, but some players do get uh, signed by a team if they go undrafted. However, there are occasions where a player goes undrafted and does not get signed, but a card is still made for him. That's not very nice. So let's give him a team. I'm gonna roll this die for it. I'm gonna go eight times in the uh, randomizer. Let's uh, head on over to the random, put that down and blow that up. So for this, I need to grab my teams. Do the old copy paste business. There it is, got all the teams there. You're going to random it eight times. Top team wins the uh, undrafted slash unsigned players. Which there probably aren't going to be any in this. But just in case, I always like to run that random. Better safe than sorry. And boom, eight times. The Lions Freaks team nice. will be receiving any of the undrafted unsigned players if there are any. I feel like there's something else I need to random, but I can't. Oh, that's right. I need a checklist for this. Because there are some players that I don't know who their team is. Because it's time for the recap. <laughs> All right. So let's start with the patches. We got Jim Kelly, the Bills, 43 of 50. Terrell Suggs, Ravens. Brett Favre. Packers, an Eagles dual relic, uh, Sanders Lions, Singletary Bears, Marino Dolphins, Fournette Jaguars, Golf Rams, dual relic for the Lions, and a dual relic for the Redskins. All right, 
Uh, some of the rookies that I don't know. All those are rookies, and these are pros. Yes. Okay. So check it. I'm gonna leave that for last. I'm gonna leave these for last, actually. All right. So let's start the auto recap. We got Chuck Foreman of the Vikings. It's not numbered, but it is nice. Robert Foster, number 33 out of 49. All right, Robert Foster, who do you belong to, my good sir? Because I have no idea. Robert Foster is a bill, and there it is. Jalen Samuels to 49. I believe he is a stealer. And he is. Jalen Samuels is a stealer, so congrats, Steelers. Roquan Smith to 199. He's a bear. Kurt Benkert to 199. Remember, y'all, we always go off the checklist. Benker is a Falcon. Carlton Davis to 99. I want to say he's a Lion, but that's probably wrong. Carlton Davis is a Buccaneer. And Cortland Sutton to 199. Sutton, I want to say Broncos, but that's probably wrong. Hey, I got one right. Cortland Sutton is a Bronco. But we're not done with the autos. Check it. We also have a Jim Auto. 3 of 10. For the Raiders. A Robbie Anderson, 4 of 5 for the Jets. And check that buyback auto. Filthy, filthy nice hit right there. <coughs> so nice I had to cough. Michael Vick, 1 of 9 buyback auto for the Falcons. Going to a filler team. Insanely nice. And that was the break, my friends. Thank you very much. We'll get it to you.